Hi, let's talk about the most important conversation that you have about exercise, and that's self-talk. It's what we say to ourselves in our head. It's the conversation that nobody else really knows about. Because how we speak to ourselves about exercise can give us a lot of insight about the emotions that we attach with working out, and therefore the motivation that we have towards working out. So if you hear yourself saying things like, oh, it's 7.30 and I still haven't gotten to the gym, that's framing exercise as though it's a chore. It's something that you have to do, the same as getting the laundry done or cleaning up your banking or even completing a task at work. Or if you hear yourself saying something like, I did nothing but sit on the couch all weekend and watch Netflix, I really need to get to the gym. Well, that's putting exercise in the category of it's a punishment. Because I did this, my bad, now I have to go and do this. Again, that's not really something that is going to push us towards wanting to work out. Now, the thing about self-talk is the more we say it, the more we believe it, the more we act on it. Therefore, if you change how you talk to yourself about exercise, the more you say it, the more you believe it, the more you'll act on it. So for example, can you frame exercise as a reward? In other words, I've had a crazy day at work, need some a little bit of de-stress time, I'm going to go to the gym, or I'm going to take a yoga class, or go for a walk, but it's a give back. Or can you frame exercise as a tool, as a resource? I've had such a frustrating day at work, I really need to go on the treadmill, that's when I do my best creative thinking. Or when I'm out for a hike, that's when I really do some good problem solving. Dig around a little bit and think about how you talk to yourself about exercise. And can you make it a way that will motivate you to make it a regular part of your daily life? But it doesn't really matter what I think. It only matters what you think.